Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Good evening. Good evening. Isn't it a very simple word to utter? No. No? Yes. Yes. I was about to deliver the vote of thanks in the capacity of President of Commerce Club at MS Ramaya Degree College. At that moment, one of the committee members came and asked me, Varun, can you please extend the speech to 10 minutes so that we will have time to set up the snacks? I said, yes. <laughs> when I was midstream in the 10 minute speech, she whispered in my ears, can you end the speech? We have already set up the snacks. <laughs> I nodded in assent and ended the speech almost abruptly. You must be wondering what role that girl played in the committee. If my memory serves right, I think she was the treasurer. Ever since childhood, I have always found it difficult to say no. To find out why, I did some research by way of self-introspection and self-inspection into my life and into my past. In all humility, I was one of the more mature kids in my family, well beyond my years. My uncle loved that quality about me. My parents hailed me as the understanding kid. I have never asked or demanded anything beyond their means. Well, almost. I remember sulking when dad didn't buy me that toy cell phone which cost 150 rupees. In an age when cell phone was an when actual cell phone was an unheard of luxury. But when my aunt bought it to placate me, I felt very bad and I didn't even play with it. Contrary to Jim Carrey's initial disposition in the movie, Yes Man, I have always said yes. Hey Varun, I want to go in the other bus with, this, with the cool kids. Can you please swap places with me? Please dude. Yes. Varun, <coughs> you have to go to the university <coughs> seminar and represent the college. No one else is ready to go. You should go now. Yes. Varun, uh, can you please cancel that leave that you applied for the festival? Uh, you know what, you're the only guy who works on that client. But I thought I had trained her on this. Uh, you know, this is the first time and she's uncomfortable. You're coming, right? Yes. <laughs> In these three instances, as well as countless other instances, I just wanted to say no. But I didn't. Psychology puts this down to fear of conflict, cognitive dissonance, and many other factors. But whatever it is called, only I know the pressure I put myself under when I am unable to honor a commitment, which is, you know, when I'm unable to honor a commitment someone asks me for. And no matter whatever it is called, I want it to change and change it, change for good. Surprise? Why this tectonic shift in the outlook? Well, there is another flashback for you. In my, in one of my work assignments in my previous company, I had goofed up. I am not proud of it. But at the same time, I had volunteered to take up more additional work assignments when the team was short staffed. I not only completed my work, but also did the work of two other people when they were on sick leave and off due to a family emergency. But my manager was not recognizing me while Everyone else was being recognized left, right and center for very little. In my one-on-one, -on -one, I asked him, 
if he has forgotten to recognize me, he simply said, no, I haven't forgotten to recognize you. See, the mistake you made and the great work you did kind of cancelled each other. <laughs> That's it. I didn't forget to recognize you. This incident had a huge impact on me. When someone could boldly say no, when it was unfair, why couldn't I say no when saying yes caused more inconvenience to me? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. You have to travel further down memory lane with me. See, my father was a union leader. He always said, I am not as important as others. So like that, I always thought that I have to do anything in my ability and beyond for others, even if it inconveniences me. So I always put myself second. But to what joy? But for what joy? This guy who went with the cool kids had more fun than me and now he has made some lifelong friends. I went for the seminar the day before the semester exams while all my other classmates were preparing for the exams without any tension. And I went to work on the day of the festival and for the first time in 30 years we had to alter our tradition. In Kannada, there is a saying, Yentu Varshakke Dantu, which means he or she has learned the lesson after eight years. But I have taken almost four times the duration. So I don't intend to forget it too soon. So do I mean that you should say no whenever it is inconvenient? No. I strongly feel that you must say no when saying yes only causes heartburn and much little else. Veronika Tugaleva has rightly said, sometimes no can be the kindest word. Be kind to yourself as well as others because you too matter. No? Yes. yes. No? Yes. yes. On this resounding yes, Toastmaster of the day, over to you.